Hello, how's it going everybody? I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Mine wasn't too bad. We went up to the mountains uh, for Saturday and Sunday. We went up early Saturday morning and then came back Sunday night-ish, uh, which, which was a lot of fun. We can talk about that here in a little bit. Now, of course, my last video was a lot of politics and that kind of stuff, which I know a lot of people don't like. Apparently, a few people enjoyed it as well. I do not want to talk about any of that further. I, I don't feel like I really have anything left to add, and I feel like it's not a very good use of my time. And so today, instead, I wanted to talk a little bit about what it's like when you start a YouTube channel and maybe some of the things that I wish that I knew when I was first starting that would have would have really helped me out because I've been getting a lot of messages lately uh, from people who are like, I'm just starting out. Do you have any tips or hey, I, I just recorded a lot of Nilly's Realm or Realm of the Mad God or, or what have you, but I deleted all of it, uh, you know, so it, starting a YouTube channel is difficult. Uh, for several reasons. The first reason is because you want it to do well. Uh, obviously, no one starts a YouTube channel and says, oh man, I hope that this sucks and nobody ever watches my content, right? Everyone wants their videos to do well. And so, wow, that was a lot of, a lot of pain in my face. Here, let's drink this. And so, the, the problem with that, though, is that when you start off a YouTube channel, chances are your videos are not going to be as good as you hoped. You know, maybe you watch a lot of other channels and you start comparing yourself to, I, I don't know, people who've been on this platform for a year or three years or five years or a lot of the big name channels have been around for, you know, almost 10 years or so. And you can't compare yourself with these channels because they have a lot more experience they do YouTube full-time probably, which means that most likely they spend their entire day, like six or seven days a week, just pouring into their YouTube channel. And you don't have those resources or all of that experience, and so you shouldn't compare yourself to those channels, uh, which is, I know it's difficult, but you shouldn't. Also, quick, quick note, um, I do know that a lot of these dungeons only have one or two different maps. Uh, be, you know, in, in the real game, in Prod, there is procedurally generated maps and that kind of stuff. In Nilly's Realm, they're not. You'll, you'll see the same one or two snake hits, uh, apparently. I don't know how many there actually are, but if you learn the, the maps, then it's a lot easier to, to run them very quickly or you don't have to turn around and stuff. I have not learned the maps, but I will try. A lot of people have, have been telling me like, hey, you just need to learn the maps. They'll save you a lot of time. And that's true. So I'll, I'll try. This one looks like you kind of go up left and then to the right. It reminds me of the, the spray on like an AK-47 in CSGO. So that's how I'm going to try and remember it. Do uh, whatever you can here to, to remember stuff, I suppose. But Back to the topic at hand. So, when you start out a YouTube video, and no one wants to hear this, but I think everyone should hear this, your videos, chances are, are not going to be very good. They're, they're probably going to be quite garbage. Uh, mine certainly are. I, I left them up so people could still watch them if they wanted to. Maybe give themselves some courage to, to actually, you know... Say, okay, this guy, he's improved his comment, or his comment, his con his content, you know, over the past three years. And he went from this really awful thing of garbage to his slightly less awful thing of garbage that he does now. And so, yeah, I've been doing this for three years. But my first series was Hook for the Sega Genesis, which was a game that I played a lot when I was a kid. I did not have a Nintendo. We had the Sega Genesis, uh, which I still really, really love. Let's get some damage. In. There we go. All right, we did some damage. Maybe we'll get some good stuff and some things. That would be great. Uh, we got Cyan back. 
No complaints there. Uh, ooh, not 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 any complaints there, because look, we got a T12 robe. Excelente. All right, immediate upgrade. Thumbs up for that. And that was the first video that I did. And we can talk about how to pick games to do videos on if you guys want. Um, but just in general, even if you're not doing a gaming YouTube channel, there, uh, your, your first videos, chances are, are not going to be very good. And so you might get a little discouraged. You're like, this is not what I was hoping it would be. Nobody's watching my stuff. Man, I, I suck at this, you know? And the problem with that is that you're comparing yourself, like I said, to these channels that have been around for a while. And you know, it's, I want to do this fanatic of chaos. That would be that would be great. That would be grand. It's a little bit closer. Or die almost immediately. Okay. That was a fun thing that happened. So the, the two things we can do now are we can make a new character or... Or do our rogue. Now, our rogue is uh, 2 out of 8. We need 6 speed, 9 vit, 17 wisdom, and 30 dex. Uh, so we could do that. Or we could make a new character as well. Um, let's make a new one. I, I want to get him all, all leveled up. What is a good... I kind of like the mystic, to be completely honest. You know what? Let's do a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. We'll do a witch. Best, best skin... That is the best. Uh, I didn't even notice how much fame I got because I didn't care. We got about 150 or so, apparently. And let's go down here and buy ourselves one of those potions. There we go. Oh, there's a second thing we have to do. There we go. All right, so we'll work on, on this character here. That's fine. That happens, you know. I, I was not paying attention. I was thinking about YouTube uh, all right, so chances are your f first videos, uh, they're not gonna, they're not gonna be great. But you know what? That's okay because, and I'll say, you know, it's probably a good thing that no one really watches your content at the beginning though. And most people are like, how can you say that's, that's a good thing? It's like, oh, like my channel's doing awful. Nobody's watching my stuff. Why am I even doing this? But try not to think about it that way. Try to think about this way. Okay, I just started doing this. My stuff doesn't meet the, my expectations and, the, and standards, right? I wish I was better at this. So while nobody's watching my stuff, let's just work on making our content better. You know, I don't want that. Someone else can have it. I'll take that though. And I think that's that's the best way to think about it, honestly, because. You know, then you can focus on working towards your goal instead of instead of being like, oh, my stuff is is awful. So anything good here? No, there was something, but it got it clicked. There we go. So yeah, so don't don't feel bad if if your stuff doesn't meet your expectations. Um, just go ahead and. And upload it anyways. Now, notice I said upload it anyways. And that's the second half of this. Because I know a lot of people are like, Alright, well, my video wasn't good. So I'm not even going to upload it. Let's let's wait till we have something worth uploading. And that is unfortunately probably never going to happen if you get in that mindset. Because you'll always be making content that you see is not suitable to be uploaded. <laughs> But, um, and you'll never upload it. And the problem with that is that if you never upload it, then people never watch it. And if people never watch it, then you'll never get feedback on, on your stuff and you'll never improve. So instead, I always like to recommend people do what I, what I call a positive feedback loop. And how it works is that you upload your video knowing that it has issues, right? Maybe it's issues with audio, maybe it's video issues or whatnot. And then you rewatch your video and point out different areas that you want to work on and just kind of critique yourself. And then you'll also want 
someone else to critique your video if you can get them to watch it, right? And I always suggest that you focus on one or two things. Because the thing about YouTube is there's a lot of different things to juggle, right? There's audio quality and video quality and commentary and levels and all sorts of stuff. You know, artwork, thumbnails, all that stuff. And it's not necessarily difficult stuff, but if you try and make everything better at once, then nothing will get better because you're focusing on too many things at once. And so instead, what I always suggest is you pick one or two things and say, all right, we're going to make this and this better. We're going to do audio quality, uh, maybe. And you don't have to have a microphone. I know a lot of people have one, right? All right, we're going to make our audio quality better. And so what can I do? Well, good thing to start off with is how do the levels sound? Can you hear me? Can you hear me over the game audio? Do I sound crisp and clean and all that kind of stuff? Um, and that's a that's a good place to, to start out. Now, I always suggest that people get their audio quality up to snuff first. And there's a lot of things to focus on. There's content, like what you do in the video. That includes like your commentary and, you know, just... You know, what's going on in the video and that kind of stuff. That's definitely important. Maybe not as important as you you might think it is. Uh, but it is definitely important. And then there's video quality. Is there artifacting? You know, are you doing 720p? Or are you only doing 480p? Or 1080p if, if you can? Or that kind of stuff, you know? Is it constantly glitching out and freezing? You know, are you taking off the cutting out the bits at the beginning and the end to where you know you don't have to listen to nothing for 30 seconds while you get everything set up you know just all this little stuff right let's let's actually go in and start doing some some bigger stuff and um hey brezon there we go you know and 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 then there's there's audio quality, right? Which I might have already said. And in my opinion, audio quality is the most important one to get right first. And, and here's why. Let's imagine you have a video and one of the things is not very good. So maybe your content's not very good, right? You, you don't talk a whole lot and, you know... And there we go. Or what you're saying isn't necessarily all that good, you know? You're just sitting here trying really hard to, to talk and, uh, 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 right? And, okay, so maybe, maybe that's fine. But your audio quality and your video quality are good. All right? People will probably still watch that if they're interested in, like, the gameplay and that kind of stuff. Now let's imagine your video quality isn't good. You know? Oh, uh, did his tri trickster die out? That sucks. If your video quality isn't good, but your your content and your audio quality are are fair, then chances are people will still probably watch it. Maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll you know, not watch the video, but actually listen to it in the background, which happens to me a lot. Uh, or they'll just kind of say, all right, well, you know, at least he has something interesting to say and it sounds good, that kind of thing, right? So if, you're, if your video quality isn't that great, then, then people will probably still watch the video. Now let's imagine your audio quality isn't good and it sounds like I don't know, marbles in a meat grinder or, or something. You can barely hear the person over the game audio. You're really trying to figure out... Oh, that was a good spell bomb there. You're really trying to figure out what they have to say because, quite honestly, that's why most people will come to your video. It won't necessarily be for the game or the gameplay. It'll most likely be to, to listen to what you have to say. So, that. Thank you but if they can't hear you or it sounds awful or 
it just you know it just have really bad audio quality to begin with then they are going to click away basically immediately so ooh. Mm, uh, i think i'd rather have the health to be honest they'll they'll probably click away basically immediately and the reason why is because it's actually literally painful um to to try and listen to and if if they're in pain they can't hear what you're trying to say or it hurts uh they're gone and you lost that viewer and that's why i always suggest that you get your your audio quality up to snuff first uh, okay i was like what's going on here um uh for sure z's so that's uh that's what i always suggest first now the good thing about audio quality is that you can pretty much improve it for free without having to buy anything now there you can't do anything about audio quality that's kind of bad from the get-go you know it's uh it's probably ooh, thank you we're, we're moving on up here i could use a, a better spell bomb though hey big skills how's it going buddy um if your audio quality is so bad in the beginning that there, there is a point to where it's so bad that there's nothing that, that you can do to to make it better and you know that does happen however if you have at least somewhat decent audio quality that's not peaking you know then you probably can improve it with some audio editing and i always suggest if you don't have any programs to try out audacity audacity is free has a lot of really great stuff to it speed rings are basically useless um and i i have a, a slightly older but still probably worthwhile watching guide on audacity i i really need to man my spell bombs are on point today i really need to update it to be honest but the good thing about that is you can basically make your audio sound better for free so go download audacity if you haven't and what you'll want to do is you'll want to make sure you're recording your audio into a separate audio track that means that you can pull out just your microphone or just the game audio without the other one on top of it oh that is a lot of wow okay um wow it's like a gathering here all right well check out all the loot we got here really nothing worthwhile uh attack i think i'd still rather have the health to be honest uh so yeah so there's there's three programs that'll allow you to do that out of the gate that i know of there might be more uh obs studio will allow you to do it uh, and I can help you set that up if you need to. You can set it up to where your audio will go into different audio tracks. So you can edit your mic and your game audio separately. And the other thing that that helps with is, let's say you recorded it and the game audio was too loud and your mic was not loud enough, then you can adjust the, the levels. That's not as good as what I had for some reason. You can adjust the levels in post in your audio editing program and make it so you can still hear yourself over the game, which is actually what I do. I record my game high and then I just reduce it down, which is the way that I like to do it. So, so you can do that. Uh, the other one that you can do is, oop, that was supposed to be a heart. Oh, that's not as good as what I have. The other one that you can use is Merlis Action. Marilis Action is one that I used for a long time. It also... Oh, one sec. It also... Uh, we got here. Oh, cool. It also allows for multiple audio track recording. So, which is, which is what I used uh, when I first started out. Now, the good thing about OBS is OBS is free. Marilis Action is like 30 bucks or something. Oh, 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 oh. 
So I keep accidentally making my heart into like a bouquet of flowers or something, but that's all right. I hope you know it. it's supposed to be a heart and I'm just an idiot. The third one that you can use, which is what I actually use right now, is DX Story. It's also about 30 bucks or so. I, I like it probably better than OBS. There's a lot more you can do with OBS. I feel like, oh, what's going on with this health bar there? Eh, or something, I don't know. I feel like there's, you get slightly better quality with, with DX Story. And maybe that's just a placebo-y thing. I don't know. You know, I, I like it better, so that's what I use. But oh, that was good. What do we? Oh, we have a T7. It's not too bad. So yeah, so that's what I use right now. Man, we are already almost level 20, and it's only about 20 minutes. Cool. We can do some some farming here as well. So there we go. It's not on there. I'd love to to see some. What's it called? Snake pits. Get some more speed. We only need six more speed for our, our rogue. So yeah, so I definitely recommend that you A, record your audio into separate tracks. It just makes things easier and possible to edit down the line. And then second is you learn how to use something like Audacity where you can actually edit your audio. It makes a huge, huge difference. You, I should put out a video with like my audio without any editing and without my my compressor limiter versus ooh, versus uh you know what it sounds like after it's edited. I think that would probably be a good thing to do. Oh, I should probably do that. Oh, ghost ship. Yes, please. Oh. Well, okay then. I guess we're not doing a ghost ship. We need 6 speed, 9 vit, 17 wisdom, 30 dex for our rogue. Server at max capacity. That's interesting. So, alright. Well, I'll just cut to when we're back in. Alright, we are back and found a snake pit right away. Perfect. So, yeah, I had to actually go out of dabs like Rachel into Rip Harambe. So... We're, we're going to actually kind of wait till they get close. But in the meantime, we're going to do this to in order to level up, hopefully. You can see it looks like the pattern's pretty much the same. Okay. Don't need that. Is that a better one? It is a better one, which is kind of sad if you think about it. All right there. They're here, and it's done. Wow, that was fast. But, all right, cool. So, so yeah, definitely definitely get your audio quality uh, down pat first would be my, my big thing. I guess that's kind of where I was leading to for this entire tirade. So, but what I always suggest is, like I said, do find one thing first. You're like, one thing. Okay, I want to get my audio down pat first. And then you and then you do that and then once you get your audio to where you think is acceptable or better then add something else on so now you're working on your audio which is already pretty good and also you want to make your your content better maybe you want to work on your commentary or you know and everyone has their own what i would say kind of like almost like voice right we all we all commentate a little bit differently. Hey, look, Rafi's on. Why are you not locked, man? I forget to lock you or something. So, and so that's, I would work on, you know, and then that, and then once that sounds better or you like that, then add something else to the mix, you know? And just always, always be working on something because if you're not always working on something, then your channel will stagnate and your content will go down the tubes pretty quick. And it's one of those things that's always, even if you feel like you're like, okay, this is as good as my content's ever gonna get, then, then it's uh, you know, there's always something to work on. It's never, you know, just always as good as it's gonna get. So let's uh, let's head 
We could do this. We wanna... We wanna do it. I don't wanna die, though, is my main thing. Let's just keep fighting gods for the remainder of this video. I'd like to get more decks. That's what we'll be working on next. Decks and speed will be easy enough to do. Um, and, and maybe some vit, because that's pretty close. We only need nine. So, all right, let's see what he wants. All right, cool. Let's uh, keep going this way. All right. So other things that I wish that I knew when I was starting. Uh, I would say that thumbnails and titles of videos and descriptions are very important. In fact, I would say SEO itself is probably one of the most important things to get your videos out there out of, out of everything else. Uh, and SEO stands for search engine optimization. I know I've talked about this a little bit before, but it's basically how easily your a YouTube can classify your video so that it'll show up in the search because that's where you're going to get the, the majority of your traffic is through the YouTube search engine. So you can post your videos on Twitter or on Facebook or on Reddit or any of those things and still the majority of your views will come directly from YouTube search algorithm. Definitely it, it behooves you to learn how to properly use SEO. Um, it's, it's the best way to grow your channel other than, you know, somebody like Markiplier or some someone finding one of your videos and tweeting it or something. I don't know. That's probably never going to happen. You can rely on SEO. You can't rely on blind luck, I guess is how I would, I would uh, say that. But so we can talk about that a little bit in a fur further video. But remember, you want to get your videos kind of up to snuff first before you start saying, okay, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure that I put everything out there or whatever. A public arena. I kind of wish it was a, an Oryx arena, even though, oh, I guess we are level 20. I didn't even realize. So, yeah. So lots of, lots of different stuff that you can kind of work on. So, but like I said, again, you know, you want, you want your videos to be good before you kind of start putting them out there would be my main thing. And the best way is to use that positive feedback loop of critique yourself, have someone else critique for you. Is this a different... Or do we need to go this way? Let's see if we've memorized this pattern. Oh, that was very nearly deadly. Okay. We survived, though. Because I'm the eye of the tiger. All right, cool. I think we want to go up this way and then to the right. These, these, these guys here are the ones that scare me the most. The, the smaller snakes, not the, the puny small snakes like those ones, but the slightly smaller, larger snakes, the medium sized ones, I guess would be the correct ones. Don't really scare me as much. These ones are the ones that have a tendency to one shot me. So. Go ahead and get this speed and get on out of here. Yeah, these guys here don't really scare me that much. Yeah, so uh, thumbnails. Thumbnails and titles of video, that kind of stuff, and description are important because those are the things people see at the actual search engine. And so if you have a really nice, enticing video title, right, and thumbnail that somebody might want to click on, then, could you stop it? Thank you. Then you, they'll probably click on your video over the other like 15 on that page. And then you just got a new view slash potential subscriber on your video. So that's, that's an important thing. So I personally like branding my videos. So you'll, you'll always see in every one of my thumbnails, my little otter character in the corner, right? Or some sort of channel branding. I think that that's an important thing. 
so I'll always do that. Mostly, you see that a lot on other larger YouTubers as well, you know? So, Drifter's thumbnails always look kind of the same-ish. Yeah, that should have done some damage. Uh, you'll see Northern Lion always has his drawn character of, of himself in all of his thumbnails, right? And just, uh, you know, I think PewDiePie always puts his face in, which is kind of becoming the cliche thing to do, I think. Oh, that's a, another good point, too. If you want to do a webcam, then feel free to do one. But if you're going to do a webcam, personally, I feel like you should make sure that it adds benefit to your videos. Don't just do it to have it, but actually grab all this. Stop that. Don't want that either. I grab this for now for whatever reason. I'm not sure. Probably you should just drop it, but who cares? So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, thumbnails are important because that's what entices people to actually click on your video. So, it's hard enough to get people to even find your videos. So making sure that they'll actually click and watch your video over the other ones on that page uh, is important because it makes that hard work worth it. You know, and you see a lot of people who use the uh, shutter of uh, the YouTube generated thumbnails that use parts of your video as the thumbnail or, or whatever. And they always look horrible and nobody ever wants to click them. Right. So, yeah, I got I got some other stuff to talk about kind of on this front as well. We'll probably do more videos. If you have any specific questions, like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm looking to start a YouTube channel. You have any opinions on X or, or Y or, you know, what game I should play? We can talk about that in a, a future episode as well. I talked about a lot of this stuff kind of before, but it's been a long time and my opinions have changed slightly on it and i feel like there's people still asking me questions about it who probably haven't watched some of those older videos so we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that as well so but that that's all i got for you guys today i i'm sure a lot of you are glad we didn't talk about politics anymore i'm certainly sick of talking about it. i'm sure you're sick of listening to it as well but that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a fantastic weekend and a great rest of your week. And I will see you in the next episode.